The aim of CyberEthic is to provide awareness to parents, teachers and children about the dangers of the internet and new technologies in general. The purpose of this video is to share with you a story of success uh, of this project and take you through some of the steps of its achievements. From the Next Awareness Center, here in the Netherlands, we're celebrating Safer Internet Day with a national event on positive content. It turns out that engaging all the relevant stakeholders is key to the success of any project. It begins by identifying them. Who are the individuals or the organizations that have a stake? In our case, Safer Internet. What are the relevant stakeholders? Children, youth, police, parents, educators. These are your leverages towards society. These are the people who will uh, tell a word, who will uh, serve as uh, intermediaries uh, to promote the interest of the project. Now, in our case, we started in the first phase of the project to engage, for example, academicians from the social science department of the Cyprus University. We engaged the family planning. We engaged a 30 Cypriot organization so that we could work island-wide. We also made as partner the public television station. Imagine that. You have the public television being partner in your project means everything you do appears on television. Μπορεί να είναι και φυσιολογικό να γνωρίζουμε ότι οι γονεί στην Κύπρο ενδιαφέρονται πολύ για τα παιδιά του ναι. και προφανώ ανησυχούν πολύ με όλα αυτά που γίνονται και αυτό είναι υγιεινό, υγιέ, αλλά την ίδια στιγμή δεν κάνουν τίποτα. Okay, with cyber ethics, one of the most important factors was creating the communication plan. What is a communication plan? Basically, it's when you um, target exactly who your stakeholders are going to be. You uh, prioritize in uh, which order you are going to um, come into communication with them. Start with who you might know um, uh, from the beginning and build on from that. Um, it's important to do your research so that you know uh, that the, the, the path that you're following will be able to expand and you don't go around knocking on wrong, the wrong doors. What is missing? For example, in Cyprus, there was no cyber crime unit. That gave us the opportunity to push to the parliament, to the government, to create a cyber crime unit. But this also meant that being from the beginning there, they were our friends. We were involved in their own training. You want to come into communication with the police department. Um, the police department has very many, many units. It's very important to know exactly which uh, or which individuals you are going to target of which specific department. We managed to put on board the curriculum development unit of the country. We developed together curriculum for the safer use of the internet to be taught in schools. You can always create uh, structures uh, to put people underneath or uh, engage them in that structure. Uh, in our particular project, we have what we call the advisory board. By creating the advisory board and including these individuals, uh, we were able to uh, use them to access um, um, the various um, stakeholders that we wanted to uh, communicate with. You invite uh, notable people uh, with power to become part of it, or a member of the parliament, of the education committee, or a member of the police. Uh, the current president of our board is the person in charge of the IT for the whole country. The same person is also in the European Union the representative of Cyprus for ICT issues. With the Ministry of Education, it's very difficult to get them involved with us, so we found it was easier to target the teachers first and then move on through the teachers and the heads of the uh, schools towards the Ministry of Education. 
Of course, with the Ministry of Education, you can do a lot of other things. Like, for example, for the first time in the history of this country, we managed to do a super research project with 25,000 questionnaires delivered and collected by the Ministry of Education with the purpose of identifying exactly what the children are doing with the computers. This would have never been possible without having the Ministry of Education on board. Uh, so you need to basically um, sit, analyze who your target group is going to be, what you want from them, how you are going to access them, and finally uh, go out there and begin uh, your communication with them. You better run two, three or four projects that are interconnected around the issue of safer internet. Now when you have multiple projects running in parallel, there are multiple advantages. For example, their funding never coincides in terms of timing. So when one project finishes or is about to restart, maybe the other one can fund in between your activities. For in our case, one of the five projects that are related to safer internet has the possibility to be commercialized. Uh, Sim Safety is a good example of how a project that uh, is being commercialized can then be run by its own child. We have been simulating the simulated world, the virtual world, inside the internet with 3D avatars. So children go in this 3D world and uh, uh, interact with one another. We'll have a share. Uh, in the profits of this project, which will continue to co-fund our socially responsible intervention in society. Uh, with us, it was more important to get involved with the uh, schools and the teachers and the parents' associations first, and then uh, when we uh, targeted uh, the media, we were able to um, tell them we've already established ourselves in the community, we've already gone, and it wasn't a case of going uh, to a program and just saying about what we are going to do. Uh, we were established already of what we have done. Για να προστατεύσω εγώ το παιδί μου ως γονιός, ποιες συμβουλές θα πρέπει να του δώσω. Η πρώτη συμβουλή που θα σας έδινα είναι να έχετε καλή σχέση με το παιδί. Όπως όταν πάει σε ένα πάρτι και γνωρίζει κάποιον παιδί ή κάποιον έναν καινούριο φίλο, θα πρέπει αναμένετε να σας το πει. Με την ίδια λογική θα πρέπει να αναμένετε να σας μιλήσει για τους φίλους που κάνει στο διαδίκτυο, για τους χώρους που επισκέφτεται στο διαδίκτυο. Uh, targeting the media was also extremely important in knowing uh, which specific programs to target. If you're going to just go to a news channel and just uh, try and get yourself on the main news, that's a lost case from the beginning. In Sim Safety Project, we managed to be on air for a program of two hours. This means that we strategize what to show through this program by having the parents, the children, the researchers all discussing. Λοιπόν, εδώ βλέπουμε ένα φιλμάκι που ετοιμάσαμε για να δείξει γενικά ότι χρησιμοποιούμε ένα χώρο που μοιάζει με το Second Life. Δηλαδή, mm -hmm. όλα είναι τρισδιάστατα και όλα μπορούν να κατασκευαστούν μέσα σε αυτόν τον κόσμο. Ακόμα και οι μαθητέ μπορούν να κατασκευάσουν. As a result, it was a chain reaction because once we were on one uh, television station and one radio station, then the competitive uh, radio station and television station wanted us on, on their programs also. Cross selling your projects selling them multiple times. Use all the channels of communication that are available. Radio, television, uh, booklets, leaflets, press releases, newspapers. This is the formula. There is nothing new. Just follow all the knowledge that is out there. The communication plan, it doesn't end. Your target group doesn't end. It, you always have to keep it up and keep going. But the most important thing for, for the success of the communication plan is, um, uh, I'm saying it again, but it is so important to know exactly who you're targeting. Otherwise, you just end up wasting your time and getting nowhere. Projects always mature in phases. Uh, this project was very successful and that's why it's being continuously funded by the European Union and of course by many local stakeholders and individuals. It all begins with a dream, with a vision, and it requires passion. Once you have these elements in place, 
then this is the time to sit down and strategize. Of course, you need to work hard. But my advice is that the decisive moment is when you decide to take action, to dare do what others think are impossible. You have nothing to lose. Take action. Woo!